Hey, y'all. I broke my glasses today. I'm so mad. I'm going to have to go to the dollar store and give me some glasses. Because the other dollar store is still open. I wanted to come in. I would be remiss if I didn't come in and say Happy Mother's Day, even though I did put it on my community wall. I just wanted to come in and say Happy Mother's Day to everybody because I know all of the ladies that follow me are mothers and grandmothers and stuff. And I just wanted to come in and tell you guys Happy Mother's Day. Um, I was a little sad today. I really was. I'm not going to lie. And try to pretend like um, I'm this strong person when there are times when I'm not. Like, I really, really miss my mother. Um, I really do. And it's too painful for me to go and see her at the cemetery. And that was something she had said before she passed away. She was like, don't run up here to this cemetery because I'm not here. She was like, anything you want to tell me, tell me before I leave here. Because there ain't nothing you can tell me after I'm gone. So, I don't even like going there. It's too stressful for me. Mm -hmm. But the feeling is just, the cemetery is just too heavy for me. So, I don't like to go. Um, my son did, and I, and I think, too, I just felt alone today because my husband had to work. And even though family was here, my son came and, and brought me something. I talked to my oldest son on the phone. You know, even though I know that, you know, my boys love me. And stuff. Mother's Day is just a hard day. You know, my dad is um, has passed also. But Father's Day is not as hard because I didn't know him. He passed when I was so young that I don't really have memories about my mama. So many memories. So many good memories of her and you know that's what I try to think about on days like today you know how much she loved me how much I was loved and taken care of because I see a lot of people on social media you know talking about their mama and how bad their situation was like I was watching Adrian, and I swear, sometimes I just be wondering, Adrian Neck. Adrian's mother was crying because she missed her mother. And I could just feel that with my whole heart. And instead of Adrian being able to have an inch, inch of empathy for her mother, she was like, let me get out of here because I can't deal with this. And I know that, you know, there are some mothers who may not have got everything right. I didn't get it all right. I know I made mistakes. I know I did. I know I did. Because I'm not perfect. But during that time, I did what I felt was best for me and my kids. And I got them up to adulthood. Now, there was a lot of bumps along the way. But they survived. When I see people, especially when I see people up in age, when I see people in their 50s and still blessed with their mother, and not treating them right, it angers me. Like, it really angers me. It angers me to the point 
where I have to be like, Lord, please remove this level of anger for, from me. Like, it, it makes me hella mad, for real. So, Mother's Day is one of those days where I'll be like, I'll be looking at the clock, just waiting for it to be over. Really waiting for it to be over. My son told me today that he wants to go to the cemetery because he hasn't been to the cemetery since um, mom passed. I have been there a few times. Like once I had to go and check and make sure they did a headstone. And then I was there for a funeral. So I had went to check on her. And then we had went one time on Mother's Day because my husband's grandmother is buried like directly across from my mama. So... Um, he said he wanted to go, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to go soon and, and take him. But if you still have your mother, please, please be grateful and give her some grace because we're, we're human. We're just like you. We make mistakes. You know, we have just been given the duty to take care of another human. And y'all children don't come with handbooks. We doing the best we can. You know, my mama did the best she could. When I one time looked back on my mama's pay stubs and my mother in the 70s was making like $2 an hour. I think by the time I saw him, I was like grown. And I was like, God, how did she do it? How did she do it? Because I looked good all the time. You know, I was one of them kids wearing, <laughs> I told y'all, in the fourth grade. <laughs> I went to school with a damn three-piece suit on. You couldn't tell me I wasn't clean. I was always clean. Mama always kept me clean, clothes, neat, pressed, hair done. I used to go to the beauty shop to get my hair done. I was like a little kid going to the beauty shop, getting my hair washed and pressed and curled. And she was doing all that on like $2 an hour. It, meals cooked, home cooked meals, smothered steak, rice, gravy, greens, cornbread, yams, dressing, spaghetti, pork chops. You doing all that on two dollars an hour? I can't say nothing, but thank you, Lord. And for the people that don't don't know. She was not my biological mother. She adopted me. She adopted me. I was her husband's niece. And her husband passed away before the adoption was final. And she kept going. She kept me. She promised her husband that she would take care of me. And she would do everything she could. And she did. She did that. And you know, I honor my biological mother. She gave me what she could. I, um, I, talk, I talk to her. And, you know, I would see her and visit her. And, you know, take her grocery shopping. And, and, and you know, I did what I could for her. But she was she was still in her addiction, basically. But I don't regret, you know, I don't hold anything against her because I was taken care of. She put me in the hands of somebody who took care of me like she birthed me. You, you would swear. Well, I am so much like her. You would swear that I was her biological child. So, happy Mother's Day, y'all.
I just had to get that off my chest. It wasn't the best day. And, and Mother's Day, you know, Mother's Day is, I like that. And they are for some, and I know I'm not the only person, you know, that feels like that. But when you in your sadness, when, when grief gets you, you do feel alone. You feel like nobody else understands your feelings. And nobody else in this world is feeling like you. But I know that there are thousands and millions of people who are dealing with the loss of their mother. You know, people who, like myself, love their mother, cherish their mother, and just, you know, just wish like I wish I could smell my mother's pound cake just one more time. Like, you know how certain, like, you have certain memories. And the older that memory gets, the the less close it is to you. Like, I can barely, like, my brain will barely register the smell of my mother's pound cakes. Be because as a little kid, I loved that smell. You know, that was home for me. So, I'm finna go, y'all. I done talked y'all here. And we'll talk about it more tomorrow. I love you guys, and I hope you had a better day than I did. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!